NRL superstar, Latrell Mitchell. Mitchell, he'll go all the way! He's too big and he's too strong! In a league of his own! A bit of blow with Latrell Mitchell expected to miss eight weeks after tearing his hamstring. Going global, be off. Right. See you in 15 hours, baby. Get out of here in the next few minutes. It's cold. Yeah, well, it's a quick reminder to bring a jumper. I know it's good, eh? It's a bit different, obviously, uh, different appetites, which I was pretty excited for. So, I reckon I'll be freaking out a bit more and more. Have a good aim, mate. So, if we're live, San Francisco right now. First time here, show me it. Going global, baby. See how Sydney rubber though. First trip here actually to, to America. Um, but yeah, it's, it's been um, very eventful the last you know few days traveling and um, it feels like we've gone back in time pretty much. And um, it feels like we've been traveling forever, like 30 to 40 hours, you know. Golden Gate, baby. Where's Steph Curry? With the shot, boy. Yeah, <laughs> go away. But yeah, we got the opportunity to take photos there at a great site and um, felt like a, a tourist for once instead of a footy player and um, really enjoyed that part of it. And dropped off some scooters, you know, took off up the park and um, top of the hills, seen some views and yeah, it was great to experience San Francisco. There you go, let's head to Philly and um, yeah, get on a plane I'll see you then. We in Philly, baby. Ready to go, get some training done, get strong. Get back to the house, do my thing. Can't wait. Latrell suffered a uh, left hamstring injury against the Dragons. Concurrently, he also had a, a bit of a right knee issue that we were managing in and out of games. So as a result, we went in, um, had a knee arthroscope, which is just a little clean out of the knee. Post that, our process has really just been about building strength in both the hamstring and the knee. I think that's where the conversation started with sending him over here to leading world experts in um, reconditioning an athlete. <laughs> Nice to meet you. Hey, Joel. Everything good? Good, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Flight. A bit tired yesterday, but yeah. I had a good sleep. Yeah. Okay. So, so this is the academy for the Philadelphia Union Major League Soccer team. Yep. Okay. And so, this place was built like 10, 12 years ago, and so forth. And I helped design like the athletic development part back there. Yeah. yeah well, Bill, I've heard you know a lot of good things. He's um, obviously professional in his field, and um, you know, there's Tiger Woods to his list, I suppose. And, a few others that are up there in the sporting um, you know, industry and um, and all, all you know at the top level of, of their their sport and um, and what they do and that you know from a professional standpoint basketball uh, work with baseball um, yeah soccer football you know ice hockey a lot of NHL hockey players and then internationally uh, a lot of AFL athletes as well um, a lot of rugby athletes Premiership soccer players things like that. Yeah, I'm obviously grateful to get this opportunity to come over and work with Bill and, um, and get myself right and, and you know, just hopefully just come over here and turn me into a beast and go back and, and you know, put it on the field. When a guy's coming back from injury, yep. one of the best things you can do is just pick up fast. Yep. A guy's fast and explosive. Whatever you're doing in rehab, just don't screw that up. What I think is unique in this reconditioning process is they're a normally moving athlete. They're healthy, they're fast and explosive they have an injury, they're no longer that way. And, and the process is just, how do we get them back to that place? And how fast can we get them back to that place? Not necessarily how fast we can get them back to a competition. How fast can we get them back feeling normal again, moving normal? And then ultimately, in many ways, we, we improve them to be, in this example, a better rugby playing athlete. I can't necessarily make them a better rugby player, because that's technical, tactical, situational things. But if we can just make them feel better, move better, increase their sustainability or durability with that injury and their whole body, then that helps their career. Obviously I'm not 18 anymore and 
I uh, can't just turn up every week and, and thinking my body's gonna, you know, just mend together like it used to. And I suppose getting older now and, and feeling it a lot more, and um, obviously I've sustained a lot more injuries than I ever have. Things happen for a reason, I guess, and that's how I look at it. And I, I think I got injured um, to fix a lot of things up that I needed to to break the cycle. And um, that's the whole point of being here. And obviously get myself strong and then be able to carry all the, you know, things I learned for the next 14 days um, through my whole career. So today was pretty much about, you know, he was just watching me walk, pretty much, you know, teaching me how to walk again. And I was thinking, well, surely I know how to walk properly, you know? And, but yeah, sort of being, um, you know, purposely walking, that was, you know, the sort of, um, you know, the thing I took out of the day and, um, and just being mindful of how, you know, my ankle range is to my knee, to, to my hip. And I guess just, um, you know, getting all mobility, getting the air pockets, you know, all moving. And um, yeah, I didn't really, you know, think about mobility and you know the way you know I have before and until today so he's really given me you know a perspective on um, you know the way my body should be moving. You can keep saying take a purposeful walk but when you're in these doors it's purposeful yeah. and actually when you get out of these doors for the next week you gotta make it purposeful walking and just be conscientious of it. Through the heel like a single leg leg press, lock drills. So. Never. Never. Um, getting my core engaged, obviously taking my mind away from the training part, which was the hula hooping. Never done it before until today. Uh, you know, I've never, actually, to be honest, I'll take that back, I've tried it before, but I've never really gotten it until now. And uh, to understand, you know, where the energy lies and center in my core. And um, I knew once I got that, I could, um, you know, hold on to it pretty good. And, um, yeah, it was pretty fun actually. I took a lot of uh, joy out of it and took out of a little bit what he said, like people can be ath athletes at their job, but you know, to be athletic and do your other jobs and um, be mindful of the skill and um, you know, potential you can take into that is, uh, yeah, it was pretty freaky because I was thinking, yeah, maybe I am athletic, but I think I can pick things up pretty quick. Sometimes you can be a great rugby playing athlete, yeah. okay? And some guys are just great rugby players. They can do what they do, but they can't do many other things very well. Yeah. So you're doing really well. So for, to go from zero to that, awesome, All right? Go one more time, feel the different way. It was just crazy to be honest. I just, yeah, just like I said, today was day one. So I'm very excited for tomorrow. And um, yeah, I can't wait to see what Friday looks like. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? yeah. Good first, good first oh, session. Yeah. So get our work done, two hours in the morning, you know, send us home. To, you know, for a couple of hours, come back, do two hours in the afternoon, and um, yeah, very clear on, on my job and, and what I have to do, and um, to get myself up every morning prepared. And yeah, I feel like a new man. Like yeah, and just really enjoying you know the path I'm on, the journey, I suppose, and not focused on you know the, the destination because you know, don't know where that's going to be. And um, but f can't wait to get back and play footy. I know, I know that with the boys. And I'm so happy I'm at a, a great club to even let me express the way I do, and for them, you know. Committing to this is yeah. Sorry for swearing, but man, mad. It's been it's been very enjoyable. Like I said, do our training, rip in, and then go and enjoy the rest of the country. I suppose. Oh, yeah, I'm powerful. Sweet, you know. Now I'm thinking, actually. Got to slow it down a bit. And actually, so that we think about what down. I'm doing. Dude, you're a big dude. Dear diary, day two, mum. Take mm. day two, baby. Mm. Yeah, it started off really good. Oh, okay. Get in there. 
there. Get in there. Push him down. Push down. Keep the chest up. Two more reps, please. Work to be done. Yeah. 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 A really, really um, eye opener. Just to, you know how raw and different shit is. You know, I've never even been exposed to so. But this is going to be a little bit hips and rolling and moving. And then we're going to transition to feel some little different core type actions and stuff that are part of your foundation and bracing and so forth in preparation for everything changing direction. Yeah, you know, know how to roll, use, you know, all different group muscle groups and um, sort of how to use momentum in my body. And That's the style of the shit. Now done. Beautiful. But it's all about the good execution of it, helps it transfer to things on the field. The athlete connects it and he's like, okay, I'll fucking, yeah, I'm gonna try that. Because it does work right in there. Right. Because Trust if it. you're down and you've got a reach, you don't get to use your legs, but you still gotta go. Right. You just lay. Exactly right. Okay. <laughs> Resting. <laughs> Outstanding. <laughs> right. That's really, really good. Really good. Man. Dizzy, dizzy panda. Uh, and then obviously getting into the, the deeper stuff, obviously my squats, um, body weight, obviously with a counterbalance with the kettlebell, but, and started noticing that I had range and um, I didn't know I could go to the extent where it was, you know, that deep. And, um, but yeah, knowing how to use my momentum to get back to my feet, to extend my hip, to power out and, um, but yeah, frustrating by the end of it. I was, um, yeah. He stands, you walk away. Finish the hip, get tall. Learning to push. Ace. Get all the way up. You're there. You're there. All the way up and go. So stop. Come over here. Come over here. There you go. It's all right. Hey, walk away. Yeah. Get long and walk away. You don't have to balance and stay there. Yeah. Push. Oh. I didn't even know how much I could get that. I didn't even know I could get that far to be honest. That it's freaked me out. Challenge, bro. Challenge. Mm -hmm. It's good. One on one challenge. I'm gonna come out on top. You know what I'm saying? Show me always on top of that. He's pretty good, Bill. Like, I, I love how he's, he can, he's real competitive. Like he, he makes you think about the shit you're doing. And when he goes quiet, I know he's doing, like I'm doing it right. And then when I, he sort of goes, uh, or, uh, you know, or says something, he knows I've got to critique something, or I've got to just adjust something. And um, that's what I think special about this one-on-one -on -one treatment that he, he does. And, um, and you start to listen and learn how to use your body. And I know it's only day two, but I feel like I've learned you know so much already and i think once i know how i get my feet sturdy like and, and and powerful and in them angles where i can change at a consistent basis and not you know get out of it and break that injury cycle i suppose of you know getting in good positions to be able to make a tackle to be able to you know go and chase the lad down the sideline or, um yeah it's really starting to make sense Pull turn for there's the rep good 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 <sighs> Good. See the difference there? It was like one move. What? And it comes right in. Good work. Good work. Good to go. Good timing. Good. Put the line. Well done. Last rep. Last thing. Take a breather for a few. Take a breather for a few. Hello. We get to 30 Good. on. Riding smooth circles. Good. Faster. And you only go look at the thing. We got a hold. We got a hold. That 50 to 55. Good. Time it. Okay. Five seconds. Three, two, one. That's three down. Let's go. All right. We're going to do eight of these. Subtly off to the right. Okay. All right. Last one, dude. Last one. Five seconds. Three, two, come on, take it over. One. So, okay. And the thing that's tough for you is you're a speed power athlete. 
when these things are more extensive in nature, even 20 is not long, but it's slow, it affects you differently, totally different. It's hard to go extensive with you, right? It's just, yeah, like I said, the Ferrari's back in neutral than in the first, and day two we're in second. I suppose, you know, it's only gonna ramp up from now on. And... It's a bit hard, obviously, different timings and kids and, um, you know, obviously getting tired by the end of you know the time I'm waking up or by the time I'm going to sleep, there, there, you know, and it's it's a bit hard, but um, definitely grateful to um, still be able to talk to them on my phone and, uh, but yeah, I'm definitely missing that. But I know I'm sacrificing that time now just to be able to invest in myself to give back to the club, to my family and myself, you know, most importantly. And um, once I get this two weeks right, I know. Um, the only thing that's in front of me is, you know, the challenge is keeping me going, you know, and I know no one's going to beat me to the, you know, because I'm always up for a challenge and anyone that knows me and knows the game of rugby league knows I'm 100% I'm in. It's just I can't wait to get back. I get goosebumps talking about rugby league. Can't wait to get back with me mates and rip in, bro, because it's just, uh, yeah, it's what I love to do. And like I said, I'm, you know, people take the piss out of this shit, like this this um, trip, and say, "Oh, he's a golden boy," or he's, uh, you know, he's he can't even back up a season. He can't play finals. I said, "Well, this is why I'm investing myself because I'm so invested in the club because I want to go to that that level where I know I've had experience, but I want to experience it with South. And I know that when we once we get there, there's no stopping me. There's no stopping this club. You know, it's just critiquing these little things, take it back and make it more professional and I think once we get this shit right, man, I'll tell you what, it's the sky's the limit. Yeah, so I uh, pretty much was like uh, an offload session where, you know, obviously off feet, get in the pool and take the load off the knee and the hemi and it was more of a core sort of um, situation, get the lungs open up a bit more and uh, yeah, swinging, a lot of swinging you know, underwater, side to side, trying to control, you know, um, and then on a medicine ball, try and hold onto it and, and balance. And obviously in the pool, we're running and you're making me kick my legs and stuff and make sure I was reaching. It all translates into running, I suppose. And um, an hour in the pool, yeah, it takes it out of you, so. Keep advancing by one each day. Right? Push down, right? And then just go stand. Don't push down. Stand. stand. Yes. Push down. Stand. Yes. Don't overstep. Don't overdo it. That's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, baby. Yeah, so it's more of a control, like I said, and it, it comes back to that um, being patient. You know, I hate, got to that, um, I think it was 30 pound um, you know, ball with the water in it and just obviously flow and then not forcing it, you know, and letting it come back and, and sort of letting it flow and then getting back and just, you know, could you create that, you know, momentum that, um, in that pendulum swing. And uh, it was definitely, you know, hard. It got me at the end, like sort of towards the end there. You know, I switched off a little bit in my, you know, thinking of it and the leg fell out. And The ball wants to f you back to over, yeah. right? And it wants to swing and pull you back down. And you've got to go. Rah! Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, brace, brace, wait, go. Pendulum's in the water today. Ooh, it doesn't happen powerful. Strength and weight, be patient. Okay, patience pushing now. Patience pushing into the ankle. Good. Uh, that, was, that was a trip. I think somebody tripped him. You got it on film. Yeah. Push. Come on. Push. Two more. Two more. Oh, gotcha. Resting. Hey, awesome, dude. But you felt it get you there. Okay. Whoa, whoa. One red line. Red line. There's a huge jump in the right direction. You know, it obviously shows, you know, once I'm switched on and I'm doing it properly, you can see, and then once I split second turn off, you see the leg go out, and it's just like, you know, it makes you realize, you know, if you're not in them good positions, you're not gonna be able to make good tackles, not gonna be able to push off and go and, you know, chase them in the next play. And, um, but definitely uh, was something mad. I actually loved it, it was pretty good. It takes a toll on you, but, um, you know, obviously get a couple of days off soon, so. 
uh, really enjoying um, this part of it and the mental battle and obviously it's been a mental battle to getting over here into a different country with a different time zone and, but yeah loving it loving it today um, we you know got onto the mats and, and jumping and twisting over boxes and um, you know hula hooping and a bit of you know acrobatical stuff and just learning how to roll get out of positions but then you know consistently get into another position to eyes up to see where the next play is and it's just all coordination, I think, and I know for myself, I pick stuff up really quick, but it's, um, you know, I did it once and I failed, I think, and then he was just like, focus on your foot, focus on, you know, your ankle range. And then as soon as I put my mindset towards something so, you know, so simple, uh, you know, put on, and you see in the video, like, and into it, and uh, yeah, I was pretty stoked with it, man. I was, I was just freaking myself out, because I was, yeah, it was something I've never done before, and obviously never, knew how to hula hoop and uh but man i'll tell you what it was it just spun me out you know i thought i was a circus freak just going mad so i was you know it was mad and when your face goes whoa like that your body goes whoa like that and then the complex goes whoa and it wants to straighten your legs out because it's hitting you in the cross yeah, just obviously on both legs, you know, you can tell the difference. You know, you turn them up on the same sort of pulse and, you know, one's not working, one's full going. And, um, and you sort of had to, you know, turn one up to get the other one to sort of balance each other out and see where it was at. And then obviously get in that squat prone hold and then coming up out of it on the, re on the recovery. And every time it just grabbed, I'd strain and come down, but I had to keep that game face, you know, and not show anyone that I was hurting. And I felt faint as I thought I was going to drop, but um, yeah, got through it. And then um, I just got to get size on it now, and um, that's probably the challenge I've, um, I'm facing. And well, my favorite was I can't wait for that spot. I don't know, but anyway, all right, good point. Right. Face, oh. face, face. That was a good change. Last one. It's got to be close. It's got to be the last one. Yeah. You know, a great mix of you know training, and I like to mix it up too, and that's what keeps me you know fresh, keeps me honest as well. And wow, I actually thought I was gonna pass that. <laughs> One, two, two, three, four, five. Show me it is alive. <laughs> what up? Obviously introduced a lot of things to build up till now and then um, felt free, but yeah. Just this morning session, I suppose, was the hardest thing. It was, you know, obviously having that cable stuck to me and and then just throwing me off balance. And yeah, that was the most frustrating part because, you know, mine wasn't clicking with my body. And yeah, and I just, and I couldn't put, you know, two pieces together. Step to ground, it's preparing for deceleration, preparing this leg, yep. but we're still using it for mobility and hip mobility for that. Oh, that was better. Yeah? Yeah. Felt better. Yeah, we stay in there, not there. And I kept telling you, toe forward, because you're preparing for this exercise so that you're preparing for that, okay? In all different ways. Correct. Rest, go to the wall, go to the wall. There's no power in this. Push down, control, stand up, control. It's not a speed up. 
There's no power. It's strength. Power comes next. Get inside. There. All right. You got, you got it on. Ooh. So this is coming. The high side is coming. Right? The little guy is just going to go pop, and you're going to go like that because you weren't loaded and you didn't have your foot and you weren't freaking ready for it. Alan, keep pushing towards. Look, Luke, push towards him. I'm not going to get him to Push towards Luke more. Ah. Push down, keep pushing towards. That's okay. Fight for it. Two more, fight for it. Push down, last rep. And rest. Good work, dude. You're Thanks. so strong when you're way in there. Okay? Top. Top. Hey, good reps. And that's on your shit leg. Your back leg. Didn't look so bad. You know, it's a start of something I've never done before and um, I had to take that frustration out of it as well. Yeah, well, I try and recognise it. I've had to learn, you know, over my career now that I've um, obviously, you know, you know, haven't played as many games as I'd like because of suspension, um, you know, and lashing out or whatever and just getting into my own head and um, I suppose just you know, recognise when that frustration or when that anger comes and just letting it go. And you, know, you see Bill tell me to go for a walk and that's when I'm just trying to regroup, um, you know, reconnect with, you know, the, the goal in, and the task I've got to achieve. And um, But I think, yeah, took that <laughs> man, I'll tell you what, it was stressing me out. Yeah, but I got it, got it in the end. I ended up fixing it up. And like I said, it's a learning thing and um, things just don't happen, you know, straight away. But... Um, I was pretty pretty happy with the effort I put in. And go! Yeah, I was like skiing up Blue Mountains, hey, not down. I feel like I was skiing up. <laughs> but no, it, it was a definitely a different, um, <clears throat> you know, ball game there. It's, um, you know, a lot more technical with everything, you know, the pushing and, and balance and, um, and you know, the fatigue you know, started to kick in. So I think um, it was six by 10 seconds. And yeah, and then by the second set, I was, you know, already rooted. So I think he sort of wanted to see where the quads are at. And, you know, the, obviously the, the coordination is there. It's just the fact of, um, you know, building the muscle up now. Pass. Ah. 20. Great last rep, kid. Great last rep. Today was a massive step. Like he said, he wants to try and advance as much as he can, and he pulls it back if I'm not, you know, if I'm not progressing the way he wants. And I suppose just for me, the challenge is, you know, obviously mentally I could be right, but physically, you know, this is, might not be catching up as best as I thought. And um, but I definitely felt like I've earned the right to be able to run tomorrow. So pull session, day fifty. But he's so powerful. Play soccer, eh? Give me a start. Caden Jackson, yeah, soccer player or football. It was pretty refreshing to have another code playing, you know, just training there with you, sort of keep each other honest as well. And yeah, it was, it was mad. He's, he's a good lad too. So I, um, yeah, big shout out to him for sure. And hopefully, you know, gets back strong and, and, and gets ripped it. Have a rest now, a bit of a feed, and then go and run, bro. Earn the right. Oh, oh so you, you've earned the right now? Yeah, I've earned the right, right bro. <laughs> get me on the grass. <laughs> get me get me on there now. That's if we make it. Yeah. Luke is driving. Oh. No, mate, don't you do it. Look at this, yeah, no wonder you couldn't drive. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't even see it. What the f? I was guessing. This guy. <laughs> A7, nice, holding up beautifully. Come on, man. 
Earned the right, brah. I um, definitely enjoyed it. Put the boots on, I just felt, mm. I just knew it was right. It was a good time to go. And um, you know, we built up through the last week to now. And um, yeah, I really enjoyed that part of the morning session, translating straight into the, um, on the field. And tell you what, man, it was great to just be in natural, you know, element, running, feeling smooth, feeling light on the feet. And I haven't felt that for a very long time. It was so refreshing to be able to throw some boots on. I just, as soon as I put them on, I'd like I said, just make me like Mike, you know what I mean? <laughs> but just felt that connection straight away. And um, I just knew something exciting was coming. And uh, yeah, just put the pieces all together. And it was so good to be able to put a lot of confidence back into the knee and my legs and hamstring, especially turning, cutting, going, powerful. And it was started like just feeling so good getting through it and and I was just like yeah I just it felt so good like I got chills now because I was like I thought actually I should pull up here and then as I kept going and going and going I'll just come more freer yeah more confident with it and planting on yeah this leg kicking with the bad hemi it just felt like I never was injured you know what I mean so I was really happy about that <laughs> Back here. I didn't double double. You got to be perfect. I think I'm being a bully. I'm being a bully right there. That posture. It is bad. First session back running. Feels good to put the boots on. Really enjoying this part, but um, yeah, different turf obviously, and uh, we're concentrating a lot more. Cuts, turns, and uh, yeah, pretty happy with it. Big Billy. Doing some good shit. Yeah, that was mine. Yeah, that was good. Yeah. We're getting close, boys. That's it, boy. Hey. Show me it, cook and show, innit? Usually have one of these hanging off me, you know what I mean? Look professional in that. Just to, you know, tenderize it a little bit. Used an whole onion because I didn't want to waste it. Hate wasting food. And that's for my big foot. You get there, man. Oh, my. When you have an injury, any injury in the body, right? The nervous system, the dimmer switch, drops down a little bit and it affects the whole chain. It's a brain driven pathway. Specifically though, my hamstring injury can affect the muscles of your lower leg, up surrounding your knee, your ankle, your hip, things like that. And so that dimmer switch drops and then it exposes things. Okay? So you see this quite regularly where athletes might boom, get a little rolled ankle. It's no big deal, they come off of that. Only to then hamstring either comes, hip comes, low back, knee injury, Right? Even on the opposite side. You looked really good on the pitch yesterday. Right? That confidence net is all there. That type of workout to say, let's go back into that workout. and Because and, you don't need to change it by much. You just literally repeat it again. And it's like, and that's good loading and good stress. There's no problem. But the highest, lowest hanging fruit, highest hanging fruit concept. It's like, it's really easy to just see how you moved on the pitch and being like, you mm -hmm. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. And then I just keep coming back into here and being like, make sure the foundation is there to keep supporting the increased amount of volume on the pitch. It's a long winded way to say, I think I want to stay off of the field. We take your day off and then we go back on, all right? Yeah, oh, I don't know, a bit frustrating, I suppose. I, um... Yeah, like just running yesterday and then pulling the brakes on again and putting the leash back on, you know what I mean? It just sort of was like, I just felt like I wanted to go and just be out and do what I do naturally and run. And and I suppose I understood, you know, the, the process with, you know, the running, <laughs> but then going to that point, but also bringing it back a step, you know, and just revaluing the, you know, that the training around how to stop and 
and like Bill said, like you can train a player that, you know, he'll run fast, but if he can't stop, you know, there's some things there you need to work on. And I think it's, yeah, manipulating the point where it's, you know, get back in the gym, strengthen, you know, what you need up and then casually build towards that, you know, longer field sessions. That's what I'm saying. Looks the same now. Yeah. But yeah, definitely, um, yeah, sore and exhausted. Whoa. Oh, yeah, I suppose when I, I was a bit younger, like I said, and yeah, it's just, I like, I just, it's natural, I suppose. I'm, uh, you know, I just need to go and just go. If I'm doing something that comes more natural, if I think about it too much, then it just frustrates a little bit. And um, But then again, it's training the mind, training that concentration, training the, you know, the, um, coordination with everything and yeah the second session today sort of yeah it was a bit more relaxed more intense with the weights and everything but more yeah switched on a bit more this, you know this afternoon pick it up pick it up pick it up pick it up you see the drippy, I fit it up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Ooh, I've been on the flex since flex on. Neighborhood all in your eardrums. I ain't never scared like bone crush. Boy, I got God, don't fear none. You know, such an iconic person in the black community here, but he was such a, obviously a great leader and um, I try and aspire to be someone like that and, you know, in my own, you know, backyard, I suppose you could say. And I think, um, you know, a lot of great things are happening in Australia these days and a lot of people are starting to have them conversations and, you know, I can take a lot of leadership skills from this camp and just be a leader in my community.